Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a crucial topic for network security, installing and configuring PFSense on Hyper-V. Whether you're setting up a home lab or securing a business network, PFSense is a powerful open source firewall that provides enterprise level security. So let's get started. Before we begin, let's go over the prerequisites. Make sure you have a Windows system with Hyper-V enabled. Check from the Windows features to make sure all components for Hyper-V to function are enabled. Next, you need to download the PFSense ISO from the official website. You need to create an account for you to download the image. After downloading the ISO image, open the Hyper-V Manager. Before you start the installation, first add the network interfaces. PFSense requires at least two interfaces, one for the wide area network and one for the local area network. I'm using Wi-Fi on my laptop, so I will connect this interface to the Wi-Fi adapter. Before we apply the changes, let us check the network adapters we currently have. So I have two physical adapters for Ethernet and Wi-Fi, one default adapter for VirtualBox, and one for Hyper-V. Let us see what changes will take place after I apply the one adapter on Hyper-V. As you can see, the virtual one adapter has now been added to the list. The one adapter will be on DHCP and will get an IP from my home router, which is connected to the internet. As you can see, it has picked up an IP address. Let us now add a local area network adapter. You can read the text to know more what an internal virtual switch does. Seems the name LAN is already taken, guessed by VirtualBox. The LAN adapter is now added to the list. The LAN adapter will have no IP address before it is assigned to the PFSense. If you want, you can manually assign an IP address right now.
we are done configuring the one that is internet interface and LAN that is the internal interface. All right, let's now create a new virtual machine for PFSense. Name it, for example, PFSense Firewall. Uh, choose Generation 1 or 2 for compatibility. Select uh, Generation 2 UEFI boot is recommended for newer computers. Assign at least one gigabyte of RAM, two gigabytes or more is recommended for production. Connect the one interface Create a new virtual hard disk with at least 10 gigabytes or more of storage. Finally, attach the PFSense ISO image you downloaded earlier and finish the setup. Now let's boot up the VM and install PFSense. Here, you need to select the WAN interface. You can find the MAC address for the WAN interface in settings. The MAC address for the one ends with 03. You can purchase a license and select retry validation. Otherwise, if you have no license, you can install the community edition CE.
The installation is now complete. You can reboot the system. Eject the ISO image before you boot the PFSense. Otherwise, it will boot from the image again. You already know the MAC address of the one, so enter the name and press enter. As you can see, the LAN has been given an IP address by the PF sensors DHCP. You can change this by pressing 2. Let us test if we can access the internet from the 1. You can now connect to the PFSense web GUI by entering the LAN IP in your browser. The default username is admin and the password is PFSense in small letters. Run the initial setup wizard and set the hostname, domain, and DNS servers and set up a strong admin password. And that's it. You now have a fully functional PFSense firewall running on Hyper-V. This setup provides a robust security layer for your network. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment if you have any questions. See you in the next video.